I'm going to briefly talk about what satellite internet access is and SpaceX plans for Starlink, their new venture into the internet provider business. Elon Musk's long-term goal with SpaceX is to colonize Mars and make humanity a multi-planetary species. If that goal is to be achieved, SpaceX will eventually need to develop and manufacture the vehicle that will transport Mars colonists. And that is going to take money, a lot of money. That is why SpaceX plans to be a global satellite internet provider. Welcome to NeoScribe, research in the future for you, so you don't have to. A handful of household names begin with Star, Star Wars, Star Trek, Star Lord, Star Dust? Maybe not that one as much. But Elon Musk hopes that Starlink will be a household name one day soon. Starlink is what they want to name their satellite broadband network. They filed a trademark application for the name to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office on August 21st. The satellite broadband network will be a form of satellite internet access. What is satellite internet access? Satellite internet access is internet access provided through communication satellites. As of right now, the main form of satellite internet access is through geostationary satellites. Geostationary satellites are much farther away from Earth than low altitude satellites. Geostationary satellites are more than 22,000 miles above Earth, while low altitude satellites are around 1,200 miles from Earth or less. Geostationary satellites, due to its distance from Earth, can cover 40% of the Earth's surface, and having three satellites will cover the whole planet. One of the largest satellite internet providers that use geostationary satellites is Exceed. Exceed launched in 2012 and has 687,000 customers. Exceed uses the Viasat-1, a high-throughput communication satellite. If you're enjoying your journey so far, don't forget to leave a like. Back to the video. SpaceX has a different approach with Starlink. Starlink will be a constellation of satellites, a group of almost 12,000 low-altitude satellites working together as a network. Back in March of 2017, SpaceX has filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission for approval to launch the constellations. Musk started this project in 2015 and opened the SpaceX Satellite Developments Facility located in Redmond, Washington. SpaceX will launch one satellite prototype before the end of this year. SpaceX plans to launch a first wave of 4,425 operational satellites in 2019, with the system reaching full capacity in 2024. Like any business, it will take time before SpaceX profits from this investment, but, it, but if successful, this will help with the funding of development costs for the Mars colonization vehicle. Last year, Musk announced the Interplanetary Transport System, ITS, which was, which was a proposed vehicle to use to colonize Mars, but Musk hinted that he's scraping this plan and downsizing the vehicle. We will hopefully hear a more detailed plan of this downsizing in a few days on September 29th at the International Astronautical Congress. If you want to hear more about the downsizing of the ITS, there's a link to my video in the description. But whatever the case, I hope Starlink will be a success and help humanity become a multi-planetary species. I can't wait to hear more about Starlink and how it progresses and uh, cover the updates on my channel. But I want to hear from you. Do you think Starlink will be a success? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in hearing updates on SpaceX Mars colonization plans and all things future, then join the Neoscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neoscribe and this is the end of our journey.